Hi everybody, welcome to class. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you're listening to this recording. My name is Mark and I'll be your instructor for English 111 in spring 2015. Purpose of this video is to get you started in the class. I'll be posting frequent videos so you understand where to go and what to look for as each class clicks by. Right now we're at the home screen for the class and what I want you to do first is simply go to class sessions and you'll notice that all the class sessions for the semester are listed here but for today we're just going to concern ourselves with course orientation. It includes an overview of the session and most importantly what we're going to be doing. Here's a list of the activities for week one and we'll go through these one at a time and then also down below, which we'll also be talking about, are the assignments and the assessments for this week. First thing we want to do is look at the course syllabus. So we're going to get out of this and go to resources. I'm sorry, my mistake. They're going to dock my pay again. We're going to go to start here. and there you will see the syllabus and the course calendar. Click on this link and there is the English 111 course syllabus. Go ahead and open that. It's a real good idea to print this and keep it. I'm going to be referring back to it a lot through the course of the semester. couple things I want to point out about the syllabus and that's my contact information. I've got two numbers down. One of them is a toll-free number which you're welcome to call anytime. Why not? It's free. And the second one is a number where you can send me text messages. I don't mind you sending me a text message. Feel free to use it. The one thing that I ask if you send me a message since I don't know your phone number at the end of your message always tell me who you are. Just include your name. I also have two email addresses. One is my Ivy Tech address, as you can see, which you're welcome to use. But a better alternative is probably my business account, which is mstenger at MetLife. I check that one more frequently because it comes to my phone. And so I'll get those messages much more quickly. If you want to use Blackboard IM, here's my username. Go ahead and add me to your list of contacts. And I've also got two social media accounts, Twitter and Tumblr. I use my Twitter quite a bit. I don't use Tumblr quite as much. And I usually don't tweet about anything related to class. But if you want to get to know me better, you can follow me there. And I'll probably follow you back. There's my supervisor's name, Angel Beats, and the online learning support coordinator for the Lawrenceburg campus, Alyssa Leap. I'm not going to go through the entire syllabus because I know you're going to read this later, especially because there's a quiz involved in the first week. So print this out, read through it. If you read the syllabus, you're going to do great on the quiz. If you don't read the syllabus, well, God help you. Here's the list of assignments for the entire course. Notice there are no tests in this course. I don't want to create any tests and you don't want to take them, so why bother? There are four major writing projects for the course, and that's the majority of your grade. There are also a couple of other minor assignments, discussion boards, and a few simple quizzes like the syllabus quiz. Those are pretty easy. And here is the disability support person should you need to contact them. Yep. Notice the last name is exactly the same. That's because that's my wife. Second thing we want to look at is the course calendar. There's two ways of looking at this. You can simply look on the screen here and you'll see all the assignment due dates. There are the ones in red. Your assignments will be due on Sundays. That gives you a full week 
to get through all of the reading and the activities and they're due by 11.55 p.m. on the Sunday. One thing I want to point out, you'll notice that week 8 assignments are due on March the 22nd, but for week 9 they're due March 22nd. That's two weeks later and that's because between the 8th and the 22nd we're all on spring break and by that point Good God, we'll need it. Let's go back to the class sessions. And session one. This is what you'll need to do before you try any of the assessments. You're going to look at the syllabus, read it carefully, print it out. Look at the student user guide for Blackboard. If you've taken an online class before, this is probably nothing new. There's also a section on effective emails and messages that's important. And then you're going to read two chapters from the textbook. And also look at a PowerPoint. I'll show you where that is. First, let's look at the textbook. That's under the Resources tab. And there's your text. I'm not going to open this now because Frankly, it takes a little while to load, and I don't want to keep this video from becoming too long. So we'll go back to class sessions. Oh, one more thing. Back to class sessions. Session one. Learning activities. Here's the syllabus and Blackboard student user guide that you'll need to read. The section on effective emails and messages, the textbook again, and the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint's important for week one because you're going to be completing a small assignment on this. We'll click to open that. And PowerPoint will load. Here's what it will look like at first. Here's a shortcut also. If you just simply hit the F5 key on your keyboard, you can see the PowerPoint presentation like this. To navigate through the PowerPoint, just simply hit your space bar and the screens will advance. If you want to go back, hit the backspace key. You're going to select one of these pictures that resonates with you and helps you describe your writing process, good or bad and you're going to write a short couple of paragraphs about it. I'll agree with you up front, some of these images are pretty abstract. And the last slide you will see the discussion. You have to write about 200 words about one of these images and there are some additional instructions about how to complete this assignment. That's the last slide. When you're done and you've selected your image, you can close this out. Go back to class sessions. And number one again. And here's what you'll be doing in week one. First of all, go to Session 1 Introductions Discussion Board. This is not graded, but it's still important. Click on Discussions. And you'll see right now the forum is relatively blank. Session 1 Introductions. Take a look at the instructions here your opportunity to tell me and your fellow students a little bit about yourself. You can write about any of these. You can include a photo of yourself if you'd like. And this is just a chance to get to know one another. And as it points out, it's not a graded forum, but it's helpful. So to start, click on Introductions. You'll select Create Thread.
go down to subject. Title it. Of course, you're going to write more than that. But when you're finished, hit submit and your post will be displayed. You can read through the post from the other students, hit reply, and you can comment on what they've said. I haven't done this yet, but I'll be posting a bio or a little bit of information about me as well. I'm not going to hit submit now. Don't want to make this official. So I'm going to cancel. And we'll go back to class sessions. So for assessments for week one, you're going to introduce yourself in the discussion board. And next you're going to take a simple little quiz, only 10 questions on the blackboard and the syllabus exercises. And you can find that right here. Click on this link. And it will take you to the quiz. Here are the instructions. And click begin. And as you can see, the questions are pretty simple. There's one other thing you need to do, and that's the test run assignment. And this is just to make sure that your computer is correctly configured to do all the exercises in the class. Read the instructions here. They're pretty simple. And then you'll go to session one, discussion. This is related to the PowerPoint that we looked at just a few minutes ago. In this assignment, you'll view the PowerPoint, which you just saw which image describes what your writing process is like. Pick the image that you think best represents your writing process, not anyone else's. Start a through new thread and then answer any of these prompts below. And notice it has to be about 200 words. That's a couple of paragraphs. To start on that, you'll go to Discussions. Here's the introductions, and then you'll go to this one. Notice the instructions are here again. Click on this link. Again, click on Create Thread. Supply a title. and begin your discussion. 200 words. Once you've created your discussion about your writing process, you need to respond to at least two other classmates. There's eight of us in the class, so you'll have plenty to choose from. And you can follow the instructions here about writing an alternative interpretation of the image. Discuss something you liked, something you disagreed with. Please be, be polite. Simply do not write, I agree or disagree. Let's have a discussion. You need to write about 100 words in each of your responses so 200 words out of two responses total. You can respond more if you'd like, but two is the minimum. We'll go back to class sessions. And see what else remains.
looks like that's it. Good news. So just to recap, class session one, read the syllabus, look at this Blackboard student user guide, look at the guidelines for effective messages, read chapter one, why we write, read chapter two, core concepts for effective writing, look at the PowerPoint, pick an image, you'll be writing about that. Those are the learning activities and then here are the assessments for week one. Introductions, the syllabus and Blackboard exercise, it's a simple quiz, a test run assignment, also very simple, and then your first very short writing project, discussion about which picture in the PowerPoint represents what your writing process is like, along with responses to, to other students. I want to finish by pointing out again the syllabus and my contact information. It's been my experience that the students that communicate with me the most absolutely do the best. I'm available nearly all the time. Use my toll-free number, use my text number, send me an email, or send me a tweet. I look forward to working with all of you. Hope this video was helpful. Reach out to me anytime. Good luck, and let's get started.